for once, I'm going to be introducing a product that hasn't been released yet. It will be released when you see this video. It's the first of its kind. It's a dual laser engraver cutter. So this Atom Stack is a dual laser cutter engraver, dude. So it's like a dog with two dicks. So this puppy rocks, hey? Basically, it's the world's first dual laser. So it's got a diode laser right and an infrared laser an infrared laser will do engraving on things like plastic and metal and glass yeah. don't quote me on the metal part but let's um have a quick butcher's well that looks very nice that's the the main feature isn't it yeah we'll come back to that though well let's let's do the christmas thing and be polite and start <laughs> with the smallest <laughs> presents what oh what do we think this is? Ain't got time to bleed. That is... The time to duck. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's the... Let's see, I'm going for the base. Oh, he shoots, he scores. Destructions? Destructions. You know what we do with those. <sighs> right. Uh, that's like that. I'm just going to get plus because I'm yeah. bleeding everywhere. No problem. Okay, and we've got those which are the magnetic face plates. Ah, okay. Well, oh, you don't hang about. <laughs> are we going Josh tight or just just tight enough? For those of you wondering, when I say Josh tight, I don't mean money tight. Okay. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't need to go to FT for this one. <laughs> so I bought. Well, I didn't buy. I was given the riser base, right? The laser, the ro spit rose, the rotisserie, yep, and an air purifier, right? Riser base. I think it's probably if you're going to buy buying this laser, is the most important accessory to buy because otherwise you're not going to be able to engrave on much thickness. This has this can accommodate the next part, the, the travelling conveyor. Yes. I'm assuming pad up, aren't they? Assuming that pad's got to be up for whatever's going to sit on it. Yes, that's the... Yeah. Oh, the honeycomb. Yes, we also yeah. got that as well, the honey... Whatever that's right. called. That little bung needs to go in there. If we switch it round like that... Okay, and you put that on top of the laser. I'll put this over there, carrying it by the handles. <laughs> and I'll cut myself again, probably. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so we have plates for the... I think we've opened this upside down by some quirk of fate. I've opened it upside down, I think, yeah. Yep. <laughs> that's the middle. That's another section of that. So, it's already out. Ah, there we go. I'll move that. No, no, put it there. All the accoutrements that go with it. There's some more destructions there. Yeah, they can burn them. <laughs> so we need... Four, two of those each, and they go that way up and connect it. So, which way are you going? That with a rounded, yeah, rounded, rounded up. Get one lined up. Use your Allen key as a podger to line up your holes. Yeah, we wouldn't want them dro dro dropping on the floor, would we? No, no, no. I'll hold this end while you you in. Yep. As the actress said to the bishop. And Josh wins again. <laughs> right, let's turn this over. This, that way? Yep. Pop it down. Does that label say anything important? Atum Bibi. No, yeah. the one that says remove the screw, the transit screw. Right, well spotted. So for the record, we are going to have one left over, I assume. That being the transit screw. So that now... Positioning and these are the we slick it jobbies for that. So all of this you see here in the boxes is about three thousand pounds worth of gear. Oh right, and that's quite a quite a reasonable price really for what it. For all of that, I'd say so. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I think the last laser I had, which was just the box and the riser base, was two. Right. Two grand. And you're getting you're getting this conveyor. Conveyor the riser base. base. The air purifier. Air, yeah, yeah. And the rotisserie. Yeah. And the spit roast. It's the bit I'm looking forward to the most as usual. So I hear. I like a good spit roast. <laughs> Honey and mustard on my chicken, mate. Um, there's other bits though, man. 
What are these, Stu? These are the clamps that go on the side. Now, is that your left? This is my front right. This is front right, front right it says there. You like an old nuts, don't you? <laughs> I like pistachios more. <laughs> she likes tomato shells. <laughs> is that her name? <laughs> they must be extensions for these. Yes, yes, yes. So you can have a thicker workpiece under there. Ah, there we go. There's a cutting deck. Honeycomb deck. That's a honeycomb. Drops in there like that. Right lip. <laughs> nice soft close hinges. I nearly forgot, mate. This yeah. is a five megapixel camera. That's for positioning your workpiece. Ah, right. So does that come up on your computer screen? Can you can yes. you watch through that? Apparently so, through, through the app. Oh, that's good. Viewable area of 300 by 250. Okay, so we have the air pump or water pump. Air and water, it's a fire up. Um, uh, oh, I okay. see it says. Yeah, yeah. That'd be where your water goes. And that's your control knob. Looks like we've got some extraction duct in here and a Jubilee clip. And, oh, that looks to be important. Little USB stick. Oh, that's a key. They, every laser you um, buy has, just like your car key, you can't start your car without right. your car key, unless it's what this is. Okay. Okay, so we've got all the nice. air pump wires. Power. Leads. Yep. More power, baby. So you've got two lasers. Like I said, we've got the diode laser, which is the 20 watt, and the infrared, which is the 1.2 watt, all in one laser gun. I don't know which one. <laughs> so, just to save anyone else the same grief we had, <laughs> that is actually a spare micro switch. So don't go about looking for that where that goes, will you? Because it isn't in the instructions. Instruction port in the rear. Always good. The classic Key West bumper sticker. To connect the air and water and the DIN rail card. What is that called? DIN plug, isn't it? DIN plug. I think it's a DIN. USB-C, we've got USB-A and USB-C for you people who are in Stone Age still. So yellow goes to the fire, small end. The black small end goes to the air assist. Last but not least, So do you want to do the honours, mate? I'll stand back. Yeah. And there we go. So it's ready to hook up to a computer. Oh, it's the key, isn't it? Do you remember I said you can't use it about that? Now for the boring stuff. Now we just... Oh, no. Wait, we've still got more. So for all of you number crunchers who just want to know the fine details, here it is. The Atom Stack Craft is a dual switching laser. It incorporates two beams in one light, essentially, combining a 20 watt diode laser with a 1.2 watt infrared laser. So it operates at a faster speed and is cheaper to run. The working area of the machine is 500 by 300, which is extendable to 500 to 800 with the conveyor belt. The working speed is 600 millimeters a second, and it's compatible with Windows, Android, Mac, and iOS.
to your phones and your computers. I'd like to say a big thank you to all my Patreons. Those that you help out are the bread and butter of this channel. So I really appreciate you. If you can help and support this channel, it would be much appreciated. I'll leave a link down to my Patreon page below.